When it comes to motion of no confidence, our approach is going to be a bit um, uh, different in that we are going to speak to all political parties uh, in Parliament, including the DA and the ANC. It's not some people in the ANC. We're going to write an official committee to the ANC and ask them to agree with us that a motion of no confidence must be passed. I'll tell you why. President Ramaphosa has confessed to his caucus, his own faction, that he's got no defense on the money, that the money was illegal, and that uh, he's got no answers, and therefore he must step down. So we are confident that the ANC people will themselves accept that the motion of no confidence must be put on the president if he does not uh, step down. The DA will have to defend the president. The DA will have to vote for violation of all laws of the land. The president has violated all laws of the land and the president has got no answer even to the DA itself. So, if the DA decides to vote against the motion of no confidence, then the people of South Africa must choose what they want. But we are not going to fold our arms when we see open violation of the laws of the country because we think we won't get sufficient support. History will absolve us. That's why when Mukwe Mukwe passes judgment on Zuma and Kandla issue and say parliament did not play its oversight role, some of us, we don't feel affected because we know he doesn't refer to us. We played our role. The majority voted against us. So we want just not motion of no confidence. That's why we are going through a thorough process to talk to everyone. 